Welcome everyone to my WRC9 how-to video. For those of you having issues mapping your gear in this game, I may have the solution for you. Uh, my main issue with this game is anytime I tried to bind a piece of gear other than my steering wheel, the game would lock up on me and crash. So I have found a trick to using the steering wheel profile as well as a couple alternative methods in case that doesn't work for you. Uh, I will start off with my recommended method here. Uh, so you want to make sure your wheelbase is turned on and you're at the main menu here. You're going to want to hit 3 on your keyboard to scroll over to options and then click on controls. From here we want to select this drop down list and we want to make sure we don't have any profiles with a star next to it. If you do, just select it, click delete and hit yes. Once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and select one of these profiles here. It's okay if you only have one. I'm going to choose the one with the least bindings. Once you've done that, we're going to click on New Preset. Click Yes. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to map out our steering wheel axis and all the buttons on our steering wheel, but nothing else. So we're going to click on Steer Left, click Assign Key, and turn the wheel to the left. We're going to do the same for the right. And I'll map out a couple buttons here as well. So shift up and shift down. Now once you have everything mapped out on your wheel, you want to go ahead and click on new preset. Click yes. Now we want to delete that new preset we just created. So click delete. Click yes. Click on the drop down list here. Select the steering wheel with the star next to it. Hit select. Go back to that drop down list, and select the steering wheel with the star next to it again. And from here on out, you should be able to map the rest of your controls without the game locking up. If, for instance, you're able to get through your steering and then your accelerate, but then it locks up, say, on your handbrake or your shifter, you may have to do that trick for every piece of gear. So once you set your steering wheel, you create a new preset, you delete that preset, you reselect the steering wheel with the star, and then for instance, map your pedals. Then once you did that, you would go ahead and click new preset, delete, reselect the steering wheel with the star, map your next piece of gear. Just to show you here that it is working. I'll map my shifter as well couple of them and then once you have everything mapped out the way you like it you can go ahead into settings here and this is where you'll adjust all of your force feedback and vibration effects uh, unfortunately we can't adjust our wheel angle in game but we can do that in race manager uh, if for any reason this method did not work I do have two alternatives so just keep watching this video and I will show you Alright guys, so the second method I came up with here is using the keyboard profile. However, there are some caveats, at least in my case I did. So we're going to scroll over to options and click on controls. We're going to make sure keyboard is selected in the drop down menu here. You're going to click on new preset and hit yes. Now you're just going to go through and you're going to map out all of your gear which should work. The game shouldn't lock up or anything like that. The issue I had was once I quit the game and I relaunched it, my accelerate and my brake would be unmapped as well as some of the uh, menu buttons here, like the navigating right. Unfortunately, you can't remap the menu buttons. So when you relaunch the game, you're unable to navigate right anywhere as well as you have to go in and remap your gas and brake every time and the only way to fix the mapping for the menu for me anyway was to delete the keyboard setting and reset everything over from scratch every time i relaunched the game which wasn't feasible however you may have different results and this may work for you and if it does great you can go ahead into settings as well under the keyboard and you can go ahead and adjust your force feedback effects and your vibration as well and you should be good to go if this method and the first method did not work for you i do have one more method for you so stick around and i will show you guys 
Alright, so this last method you can try here requires the use of a controller plugged into your PC via USB. I'm using my Xbox Elite controller. Uh, once you have that all set up and you're in the main menu here, we're going to go back into our options. You can either use the controller to navigate the menu or your keyboard. Going to click on controls. Click on this drop box here and we should have a new controller preset. So select that. Click new preset. Yes. And now you're free to go ahead and map out all of your gear. Uh, shouldn't have any issues. Uh, the caveat to this is uh, re it requires extra hardware. You have to have a controller plugged in uh, prior to launching the game. So just to show you everything's working here. Map a few of these buttons. Uh, shifter. Oh. Assign. There we go. So, pedals, sim magic wheel, shifter, handbrake, all mapped out. Um, I did notice that when I relaunched the game, the move right on the D-pad became unmapped. But it was okay because you can use the left joystick to navigate or your keyboard or your mouse. So, uh, everything else I found that you mapped out with your gear seems to stick and you can still go into your settings and adjust your force feedback and vibration and all that adjust your wheel angle and race manager and I uh, should be good to go hopefully one of these methods helped you guys out and uh, you're able to tear up those roads now so if this helped you out leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and I will see you guys in my next video peace